What happened to Damar Hamlin was likely due to an extraordinarily rare but known cardiac event after taking this hit on the field. After the tackle, he temporarily stood, then he collapsed with cardiac arrest. This is almost certainly from a condition known as commotio cordis and is certainly not from vaccines or some other reasons. Hi, I'm Dr. B. I make educational videos on fascinating topics, and in this case, a tragic one. Commotial cortis is so rare, it's usually only read about, even by most physicians. And even the American Heart Association states that only about 10 cases are described in the United States each year. It requires blunt trauma to the chest in just the right place, midline, or to the left of midline over the heart, and at precisely the right time in the cardiac electric cycle. You can see from this hit, Damar was hit exactly in the center of the chest near his heart. How does it happen? Well, this is a tracing of the electrical activity of the heart. And if you look at the large wave, the QRS wave, this is where the big chambers of the heart, the ventricles squeeze to push the blood out. The T wave is where these ventricles relax or repolarize. And the hit to the chest has to happen during the upstroke of the T wave. This is only about a 20 millisecond to a 1 50th of a second time period. But if the hit occurs precisely at this point in the electrical cycle, the heart rhythm degenerates from a pumping action to what is known as ventricular fibrillation and cardiac arrest occurs. In the medical literature, this is most commonly described, especially in baseball. But it's also been seen in hockey and even lacrosse. But any blunt trauma, including fists, that hit in that region can cause commotio cortis. And in this video, it looks like this is exactly what happened to Mr. Hamlin. Because it's a cardiac arrest, but a rhythm problem, immediate CPR and defibrillation with an automated external defibrillator is the treatment and can be life-saving. Fortunately, the first responders did just that, and the last reports are of Mr. Hamlin in the ICU in Cincinnati. Our thoughts are with him and his family, and we wish him a speedy recovery. That's commotio cordis. For other educational videos, try these, and please don't forget to hit subscribe.